Around 3% of global CO2 emissions can be traced back to aviation, and the sector is expected to grow in the coming decades. There are no simple or fast solutions to the climate-related problems the industry poses. It is one significant emitter of anthropogenic greenhouse gases. It is not the biggest as a sector, but uh, it is certainly significant, and here we need to act swift to maintain technology transition of this industry sector into a sustainable future. When it comes to mitigating the climate damage aviation causes, three different approaches hold promise. One is to electrify planes, running them on giant batteries so they don't directly burn any fuel at all, basically employing the same technology used in most smaller drones. But electric-powered aircraft running on today's batteries can't carry much weight for long distances, and they would have to be built from scratch to replace the tens of thousands of kerosene-powered planes that currently make up commercial fleets. So there's still at best a long-term option for shorter-haul flights. Then there's the idea of powering planes with hydrogen instead of jet fuel, either by burning the element directly or using it to drive a fuel cell. But here volume is an issue. To provide enough energy to power flight, the hydrogen has to be cooled and liquefied to concentrate it. The gas is tricky to handle, and airports everywhere would have to alter fueling infrastructure. So also a longer-term proposal which is why most efforts in the field at the moment are aimed at creating sustainable alternatives known as drop-ins, liquid synthetic or biofuels made with carbon taken from non-fossil sources like plants or even from atmospheric CO2. What's key is that they can be transported, stored, pumped, and handled just like fossil-based kerosene, but it will take time to make them available on a wide scale. I think it would take 25 to 30 years, so at least one lifetime of uh, plane development, um, considering that uh, the lifetime of a plane is a lot longer than your conventional car on the road. Although sustainable aviation fuels can therefore contribute to decarbonizing flight over time, the challenges remain immense. <laughs>